Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to go over the workspace visibility and access settings in Slack. For the Slack admin exam, you're going to need to know the four different types of visibility and access settings for workspaces in the enterprise grid plan. The four setting types are open, by request, invite only, and hidden. We'll start with the open setting. When you choose the open workspace visibility setting, anyone in your organization can view and join the workspace. As an admin, you might choose the open workspace visibility setting if you wanted to create a workspace for all the members in your org to access when they first join, almost be like a welcome workspace, or you can create some kind of global workspace that all members have access to. An admin might also create an open workspace so that it could be used by a standard business function or department, such as sales or customer support. If we move on to the by request visibility and access setting, this setting allows all members of an org to request to join a workspace. An admin might use the by request workspace visibility setting to create a workspace where there is a need to control membership of the workspace, but also are comfortable with anyone requesting to join. As you'll see in the upcoming workspace visibility types, not all workspaces are visible to members. One thing I did want to note about the by request visibility setting is that this setting has the highest overhead because it'll require an admin to take frequent actions on the requests that are being sent to join the channel. So now if we move on to invite only, this setting is more restrictive than the previous two because it doesn't allow members to request to join. The only way a member can be added to the invite only workspace would be if they were invited to join by a workspace owner or admin, or if they were manually added by a workspace org owner or org admin. An admin might choose the invite only workspace visibility setting if they wanted to create a workspace for a known project or initiative that should be kept private. Additionally, this setting requires less admin overhead than the by request setting, but still requires more overhead than the hidden workspace and the open workspace. Finally, if we move on to the hidden workspace visibility setting, this setting is the most restrictive. No member can view the workspace and must be invited to join. An admin might choose the hidden workspace visibility for workspaces that need to be kept highly confidential or private. An example of such a workspace would be a workspace dedicated to mergers and acquisitions. Unless a member is a part of this workspace, they will never be able to see this workspace or have the option to join. So that's all I have for this video. Knowing and having a good understanding of these four settings is going to be extremely important when it comes to preparing for the Slack admin exam. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you all for watching today and I'll see you in the next video.